Hey everybody! Today you will learn about one of the core modules in Node.js and more specifically about the file system module. The file system module or simply FS allows you to access and interact with the file system on your machine. In this video you will learn how to create directories and files, how to read the content of directories and files, how to delete them and how to append new data to an existing file. Therefore, without further ado, let's jump straight in. The first step is to create the JavaScript file for the application. So let's write touch index.js and then let's open it in the code editor. So code index.js. The file system module is a core Node.js module. That means you don't have to install it. The only thing you have to do is to import it in your file. So const fs require fs and you are ready to use it. Now you can call any method from the file system module by using the prefix fs. So for example fs write file and you can see you already have the methods available. Alternatively, you can import only the methods you want from the FS API as follows. Const write file, read file and then require FS. However, in this tutorial you will see this option being used. It will import the whole file system module. Before going further, I want to mention that for this tutorial you will also need to import the path module. The path module is another core Node.js module and it allows you to work with the file and directory paths. So let's add the following line const path require path. I want to emphasize that the path module is not mandatory to work with the file system module, however, it helps. Also, I want to show you the difference between sync and async methods. For example, for most of the methods, you can see that we have sync and async methods. The first method is an asynchronous method and the second method is a synchronous method. Usually, you can see which methods are synchronous by looking here at the end because most of them have sync at the end of the name. The problem with synchronous methods is that they complete the code synchronously and therefore they block the main thread. Blocking the main thread in Node.js is considered a bad practice. Therefore in this tutorial you will see the asynchronous methods. The first step is to write to a file. You can write to a file with this method fs write file and it takes three parameters the name of the file the content and the callback. So let's name our file something like content.txt and then we have to provide the content. For example, this is my content and now we have to provide the callback such as error and if we have an error we throw that error. If not, we output to the console that the file was created successfully. So console.log the file was created. So we pass the name of the file, the content of the file and a callback. And in this callback we specify what happens if the action is successful or not. If not, we throw an error and if the file was created successfully, we output it to the console. Therefore, let's run the file and see what happens. Let's go back to the terminal and let's run node index.js and you can see that the file was created. Let's check it and you can see our new file being created. Let's also see if it has the content we added. Yes, you can see that it's exactly what we added. This is my content. The next step is to read from a file. However, before you read from a file, you need to create and store the path to the file. Here is where the path module comes in handy. Therefore, let's write the following line. Const file path path join process and then cwd method and then the name of our file. So the first argument process.cwd 
is the current working directory. When you call this method, it returns the current working directory. And this method join joins together the current working directory with the existing file. Now you are ready to write the code for reading from a file. Now let's call the read file method and let's provide the file path and then a callback such as error content and then if we have an error we throw that error if error throw error if not we output to the terminal the content of the file so console.log content to string now let's save it and before going further i want to mention that this method write file creates a new file if it doesn't exist but if it exists it overwrites the existing file so now you see that i modify this content and we should see the three exclamation marks let's go and run the code so node index.js you can see that now it outputs the content of the file to the terminal and you can see that it replaced the content of the file you can now see the three exclamation marks now let's proceed further by displaying the content inside a directory. Displaying the files inside a directory is quite similar to reading the content of a file. However, instead of passing the file path, you pass the current working directory or you can pass any other directory. So let's call the red deer method and then let's pass the process.cwd and a callback as usual if there is an error we throw that error and if not we display the content to the terminal so console.log files let's run the code and see what happens so node index.js and you can see we have an array of files this array represents all the files we have in this directory so we can test that it works correctly by running ls l so you can see that we only have two files therefore we can say it works properly now let's see how you can delete a file the file system module has a method that allows you to delete files however it's super important to note that it only works for files and not for directories when you call the method unlink with the file path as an argument it deletes the file therefore let's see it in action let's pass the file path and a callback as usual if there is an error we throw that error and we also need to display something to the console to know if it was successful so console.log file deleted we can run the application and see whether it deletes the file or not so node index.js and you can see that now we only have one file the file was deleted successfully now you'll see how you can create a directory with the file system module you can create a directory asynchronously by using the mkdir method the mkdir method takes three parameters and you'll see what those are so first of all let's pass the current working directory as usual and then let's create two additional folders my my folder and second folder and then we also have to pass a second parameter which specifies whether it is recursive or not so recursive true and you'll see why and then a callback as usual let's throw an error if there is an error if not let's display something to the terminal to know whether the folder was created successfully or not so console.log folder created successfully so let me explain what this recursive true means let's make this a little bit smaller as well so first of all the first argument is the name of the folder or folders 
The second argument is this recursive stuff. This recursive property allows us to create folders inside folders. If we remove this parameter, this piece of code will return an error because it cannot create a folder inside a folder. Therefore, when you want to create multiple folders, such as having a folder inside another folder, you have to use this recursive property. Let's run the application and let's see if it creates the two folders. Let's run index.js. And you can see that the folders were created successfully. So let's check it manually. And you can see that we have my folder here. And inside my folder, we should have the second folder, which is here. So let's clear the terminal and let's go back to the code editor. And now I'll show you what happens if we remove this. So let's remove it. Let's remove the folder as well. And now let's run the code again. You can see that we have an error, no such file or directory. However, let's change it one more time. Let's go to the code editor and let's remove this one as well. Let's run the code and see what happens. You can see now it was created successfully and we can check it manually. You can see that we have my folder here. So why did it work? If you want to create only one folder, you don't have to set the recursive property to true. However, if you want to create multiple folders like this, you have to specify and set recursive to true. Therefore, be careful when you use this mkdir method. Also, for this method to work properly, let's put it at the end and let's test the code again. So let's clear the terminal and let's see if it shows all the files and directories. Yes, now you can see that we have index.js and my folder. The question now is how you delete a directory. Deleting a directory is super similar to creating a directory. We have to pass the folder as well, the recursive property and a callback. So let's write the following code, rmdir, and then we have the same thing. Let's copy and paste it. And then we have to set recursive true as well. Let's pass the callback by copy pasting it. And now I want to emphasize on this recursive property again. If we don't pass the recursive and we don't set it to true, it won't delete the folder if it has content inside. So if we go here, we can see that my folder has content inside, has a second folder. So let's see what happens if we don't pass this. Let's delete it and let's try to run the code index.js. And you can see it shows an error because the directory is not empty. Therefore, it cannot delete a directory if it has content inside. However, if you only have one folder without content inside, you can use this method to delete that folder. Therefore, let's modify the code a bit to work with this method. So let's go here where we create the directories and let's remove this. Let's save it. Let's go to the terminal and let's run the code. So you can see that the folder was deleted successfully. If we check manually, you can see that there is no folder. So again, why did it work? It worked because this folder was empty. It didn't have anything inside. But as soon as we add something inside this folder, this method will give us an error. So we have to pass a recursive as well if we have content inside. And now you can see that it will delete the folder even though it has another folder inside. So let's go back to the terminal. And also before that, let's modify these folders, delete it successfully. And now let's run the application. You can see that the folder was created successfully and then deleted successfully. And we can check that manually. You can see that we only have index.js and it shows here as well. Let's see how to rename files now. Using the file system module, you can rename both directories and files with the same method. So we can use the rename method to rename our files and directories.
for this one we have to pass the existing file of directory and the new name we want for that directory or file and a callback so let's actually copy this one because we have it here so let's copy the same thing let's paste it here and then let's copy paste it again and let's change the second folder to new directory and then let's also pass a callback if there is an error we want to see what the error was so if error throw error otherwise let us know that it was successful directory rename and also for this to work we have to comment this so it doesn't delete our directory so let's save it and let's try to run the code so let's run node index.js and see what happens you can see that the directory was renamed so let's check it manually ls my folder and you can see that instead of second folder is new directory now in a similar fashion we can rename files so let's copy paste this and let's just change this bit so content txt to something like my new file txt and let's save it let's also change this to file rename and we also have to comment the unlink so it doesn't delete the file otherwise we cannot rename it so let's go to the terminal let's clear it and let's run node index.js and you can see that the file was renamed as well so let's do lsl and you can see that we have a new name my new file .txt. and don't worry about this line because it's not updated since it's above all these methods we should move it somewhere at the end so let's move it at the end of all the code and let's run the code again let's clear the terminal and let's run node index.js you can see that we have my folder my new file therefore when you want to rename a file or, the, or a directory you pass the old path and the new path with the new name and that's it also it's important to know that if the new path already exists like this path or this path it will be overwritten therefore be sure you don't overwrite existing files or folders by mistake the last thing you'll see is how to add content to a file. With the file system module, you can also add new content to an existing file. The method append file allows you to do just that. If you compare the two methods, write file and append file, you can see that they are very similar. You pass the file path, the content and the callback. So let's write fs append file, file path, and then let's add some new content new data to be added and then let's pass the callback as well as usual we throw the error if there is any otherwise we output to the terminal that the content was added new content added and before we run the code we have to comment this so we don't run into issues so let's comment this rename piece of code and let's go to the terminal and write node index.js and let's see what happens let's check manually if the content was added and you can see that we have the old content and the new content therefore this is how you append new content to an existing file thank you a lot for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like it and share it with other people it would help me tremendously thank you